Hi everyone, what's good? Welcome to We Plug Good Music. My name is Ayo and this is the Afrobeats Debate. Let me start by saying that I love Shay Shay. I think she's a very good artist with beautiful vocals, strong songwriting credentials and the potential to be one of the best Nigerian pop stars, period. As you may or may not know, she put out her debut album titled Shay vs. Shay a few months ago, and if you follow me on Twitter, then you will know that I generally thought that it was a flop. But I must now confess that I may not have given the album a fair chance when I first listened to it, and I may have judged it a bit too harshly at the time, and for that, I hold my hands up and I apologise. Having listened to the album again recently, I have to admit that the album is pretty alright. It is certainly not as bad as I first thought or even suggested. I say that to say this though. I still have a massive issue with this album. Songs like Mary, Loud and Back and Go still rob me up the wrong way no matter how much I try to ignore how problematic these songs are. Shay Shay's use of the N-word infuriates me to no end. The word should be banned, period. And I don't like when artists use that word because they think it's cool, especially Nigerian artists. But also, I seriously don't think that Shay Shay uses this word in real life. So why use it in a song? Let's look at Mary, for example. Considering the blatant Rihanna ripoff and the unnecessary end bombs she sprinkles all over the song, there's really not a lot that I can take from it. Regarding its subject matter, yes, anybody can smoke weed and sing about it, but the song strikes me as rather disingenuous. If I'm being honest, Shay Shay doesn't seem to me like a person who smokes weed, and I realise that's a very ignorant thing to say because what is a person that smokes weed supposed to seem like but something about this Mary song just feels fraudulent to me plus the fact that the only other time she sings about smoking weed is on loud the song with Femi Kuti as if to say that just because you're on a track with Fela Son you're supposed to sing about smoking weed it feels a bit contrived a lot contrived actually don't get me wrong Artists can and should make the music they want to make. We are not singular people, so you can make many different kinds of music if you want, covering all sorts of subject matters. But there doesn't seem to be any clear shade, shape, voice or direction on this album. Maybe I'm judging her and the album a bit too harshly because of my very clear biases against the N-word and against artists promoting a false image of themselves. But maybe I just expected a bit more from Shay Shay, a higher standard, if you will. The thing though is, having said all that, I do like some things about this album. My only problem is that I do not like these things enough to take my mind off of the things on the record that I really, really don't like, and that is a shame. And please, let me be very clear, there are some exceptional songs on this album. Murder, for example, is my jam. Right now, Vacancy and Everlasting Love are also worth mentioning and are right up there as some of the highlights on this album. The album also seems to come more alive in the final third, with songs like Higher, Killing Me Softly, Church, Loud, and love wanting to doing more than just piquing my interest and proving more than able to hold my attention from start to finish. One thing I should say though, some of the production on this album is absolutely top draw stuff. From OTB on Mary to Del B on Killing Me Softly to Dr. Fabs on Murder to TY Mix on No Vacancy and Love Wanting Tin, there's some pretty premium music backdrops on show in this album and I don't want to say that it's the beat selection that saves this album because that would be a disservice to Shay Shay as an artist. She proves that she can hang with the best of them on songs like Right Now, No Vacancy and Everlasting Love which I already mentioned are some of the strongest songs on the entire album. I will say this though, the overall production on this album for the most part, is pretty impressive. 
the album on the whole is not a bad listening experience. There are several exciting moments throughout the album and some of these songs are very well crafted. I'm sure a lot of listeners will enjoy and appreciate this album, but unfortunately, I just can't get over Shay's use of the N-word and how some of the album just feels contrived. So when it's all said and done, this one just isn't for me. But I want to know what you guys think. Did you like the album? Did you not? What were your favourite songs? What song didn't you like? Let me know in the comment section. And until the next time, peace, love, and Shay versus Shay.